This is how our nav menu is going to look like after the user has clicked on the menu icon. So this is actually the final stage of the animation. The initial stage is when the nav menu is still hidden somewhere to the left of the screen. So this is how it looks by default and then you click on the menu icon and then it animates in from the left. So this is the final stage. We want to place this in the initial stage and then we we'll apply the click effect that will slide it in. Okay, so by default, a nav menu or any element for that matter has a transform translate property of zero pixels. So this is how it looks initially. So this is how it looks. Now we want to move it out of the screen to the left. And we want to move it by a distance that is the same as the width of the nav menu so that it totally disappears. So we'll move it to the left by, since the width is 250 pixels, we'll move it to the left by 250 pixels. But since we are moving it in the negative x axis, we'll make it negative. If we leave a positive value here, it is going to move it 250 pixels to the right instead, since that is where the positive x axis is. So now we have moved it to the left. If we refresh the page, it's going to disappear and it is currently hiding somewhere to the left here. Now we will add an event listener or rather we will add an overlay, which is this dark or this slightly dark uh, interface you see here. When you click on it, the nav menu disappears. So the overlay is actually an element in our HTML. So we are going to add it as the first element inside the header and we'll give it a class, a CSS class of nav overlay. We are going to select this and on desktop it's going to be hidden. So let's scroll up to where we find the styles for desktop devices. We will select that overlay class and give it a display of none. And then on mobile devices, when the user has clicked on the menu icon, we are going to use JavaScript to add an open class to this overlay. And when that open class is added, instead of displaying it as none, we are going to display block so that it can now reveal itself. And then we'll give it a position of fixed. We place it at zero pixels to the top, zero pixels to the left. We give it a width of 100%. A height of 100% too and then we give it a background color of black but it's not going to be totally black we're going to make it slightly transparent so let's make this 0.45 and now we refresh and uh, we need it is currently displaying it's currently hidden rather because we gave it a display of none in the desktop or uh, in the desktop styles which is the initial default so if you want it to show now we'll just add the open class to that element let's do that manually and then we refresh and now you can see the overlay but we are going to be adding and removing this when the user is clicking on the menu icon and we will do that using javascript so let us select the menu icon right now in our javascript I'm going to add a comment here to indicate that these are scripts for navbar responsiveness. We are going to select the menu icon. We are also going to select the nav overlay. Make sure you, you add the nav overlay class as well as rename the variable to nav overlay and we will add an event listener to the menu icon we'll listen for a click event on the menu icon and when the user clicks on that icon this function will execute for now let's just display an alert just to make sure that our event has been attached successfully and 
it has. So we can proceed to the next steps, which is we are going to give our overlay element. We are going to toggle the open class on the overlay element, which simply means that if there was no open class on the overlay element, it's going to add the open class. Or if there was an open class, it is it's going to remove it. Now the overlay element itself, when you click on the overlay element, it should close close itself. So we are also going to add an event listener for the click event on the overlay. And then we will do the same thing. If the overlay had the open class, we are going to toggle, which means if it had the open class, we will remove it. If it didn't have it, we will add it. We can put the remove here because uh, we will only ever remove the open class on the overlay. Since once it is open, all we want to do is close it when we click on it. But toggle is going to work just fine. So whichever one you like. So now let us refresh. We click on the nav menu. On the menu icon, the overlay shows. When you click on the overlay, it disappears. So it is working now. Now what we want is, when the overlay is open, we also want the nav menu to slide in from the left. So let us do that and we are going to make it similar to what we have done to the overlay here. We are also going to be adding and removing an open class to the nav menu. So let us select the nav menu. It has a class simply of nav menu. So let us copy that. We duplicate one of these selectors and we replace the class with nav menu and we also make sure we rename the variable. Now, um, I've been making a lot of videos on YouTube and people usually duplicate like this and forget to rename it properly. properly. So please take some time and make sure you have renamed it correctly. Okay, so when the overlay is open, you also want to toggle the open class on the nav menu the same thing when we click on on when we click on the nav overlay we also want to remove the open class i'm just going to leave these at remove so that you should at least the code should read well when we click on the overlay we want to remove the open class on these two elements now this is all about the javascript for opening and closing the nav menu let us go to our styles and we will implement the same thing we did for the overlay on the menu or on the nav menu so we will also add a selector for the nav menu when it is open or when the open class has been added to it and now the change we want to happen when the open class has been added is we want the menu to slide in from the left of the screen into its position. Remember the initial position was uh, when the transition is zero, that is the default. So we want it to come back to that initial position or rather that final position where it is open. So that position is when the transform is at translate zero. We also want this to happen with a transition effect. So we'll transition all the CSS properties on this element over a time period of 2.5, 0.25 seconds. And the easing function is simply going to be ease in out. So this is going to make our nav bar slide into its position over a period of 0.25 seconds. Also, when we are removing the open class from the nav bar or when the nav menu doesn't have the open class, we will make sure that it also transitions back over a period of 0.25 seconds. If you don't add, it, add this on the nav menu selector itself also, uh, and then when you click on the overlay, the nav menu is just going to instantly disappear without any animation, which is not going to be very good user experience. So now we have finished all the CSS required for this nav menu animation. Let us refresh and then we test it out. So it slides in 
and when you click on the overlay, it slides out. Also notice that our nav menu is appearing on top of the overlay and that is because we gave our nav menu a very high Z index. So it is appearing on top of the overlay. So that this is where we gave that Z index. Okay, so now that is it for our nav menu responsiveness. In the next video we are going to be able to we are going to implement uh, the opening and closing of the drop down on mobile as well as uh, properly expanding this our uh, search bar to fill the entire header okay so see you in the next video